Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, September 15th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. All right, not to geek out on the new iPhone operating system, but the new voice-to-text feature is awesome. It recognizes where to put in punctuation, and also it now has an unsend text feature for when you accidentally text your boss something that was really meant for your spouse. All right, enough geeking out here. We have some news, so let's get into it, shall we? The Anne Arundel County Police have arrested a D.C. woman and charged her with attempted murder after her victim showed up at the Anne Arundel Medical Center emergency room. It went down the night before last when police interviewed the victim. They learned that it happened in the 600 block of Admiral Drive in Annapolis. They went to the address and found the suspect with a bloody knife. She was arrested and charged accordingly, and the victim is expected to be okay. Two weeks into the school year, and the new superintendent is laying down the law. There have been violence and other disturbances at several athletic events, and Dr. Mark Bedell sent home a letter yesterday saying that there will be a zero-tolerance policy for disruptions at games or any other AACPS events. Starting on Friday, all middle and elementary school kids must be accompanied by an adult. Anyone that's involved in any violent activity will be ejected and banned from any extracurricular activities for 90 days. And Bedell also said that he is prepared to change the dates and times of events if needed or restrict attendance. The Annapolis Boat Shows. You know those two amazing weeks in October? Well, they are going to be awarding the Sailing Industry Distinguished Service Award at the Sailing Industry Breakfast on October 13th, and nominations are now opened. This has gone on since 2014, and it's designed to honor someone that has given really of themselves to the advancement of the sailing industry. The winner does get an eight-day ship bell clock on a mahogany base, courtesy of Weems and Plath, and we do have a link to the nomination form on ionanapolis.net. It's a Google form, so it has a very long URL. It's easier just to look at ionanapolis.net for that link. And nominations do need to be in by October 1st. Vita Taco Bar opened here in Annapolis a while ago, and then they expanded to Severna Park and ultimately to Baltimore. On Tuesday, they announced that they are pulling out of Baltimore and the Harbor Point. No reason was given. However, both the Severna Park and the Annapolis stores will remain open. The Anne Arundel County Fair opened last night, and as always, it looks like a lot of fun. And with it being an election year, there is the added bonus of all of those politicians running around. And we really need to find a way to see if we can pen them up and judge them like they do the animals. But I digress a little bit. The fair does run through the 18th. Tickets are $10, and kids under a random age of 9 are free. Of course, it is at the county fairgrounds located on Generals Highway in Crownsville. And tonight, will I see you at 5 p.m. at MC3? The inaugural Annapolis Songwriters Festival opens up at Stage 1 right there by the Western Hotel with a free concert featuring Jimmy Haha, Dean Rosenthal, Scribe, Honestly Soul, and Robert Randolph. There are more than 80 free performances between 5 p.m. tonight and Saturday evening with a handful of ticketed ones. But listen to some of the talent that's coming here into Annapolis. Amos Lee, Lucinda Williams, James McMurtry, Jake Owen. The venue stretched from the Western Maryland Hall all the way down to City Dock. And I'll tell you, the weather does look spectacular. Tickets and schedules are available at AnnapolisSongwritersFestival.com. Of course, tonight is the September Sunset Concert Series. It continues at the park half of the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park. On deck tonight is everybody's favorite, the Eastport Oyster Boys. And as with all of their concert, it is technically free, but they do ask for a donation if you can help them to help support the museum. Parking is limited, so ride share, bike, walk, or maybe even boat. And if you show an Uber or a Lyft receipt, you get a coupon for a free drink. 
And that's all I got news-wise. Podcast stuff up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight. It is NABS, or the Naval Academy Business Services Division. And if you missed it, you want to check out the bonus pods that we dropped earlier with Kat from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, all about the Out of Darkness Walk on this Saturday, and Natanya from the Travis Mannion Foundation about the upcoming 9-11 Heroes Run on this Sunday. Both of them are going to be at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium, and both of those are really good podcasts. You should give them a listen. And that is a wrap. As always, thank you for being you, and thank you to all the sponsors for today's daily news brief. Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long-end foster company, and Scout and Molly's. It is Thursday, so we have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace here with your Maker Minutes, and George from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast, and beautiful, I might add, weather. All of that coming up in just a bit, so hang tight. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. One of the biggest questions I'm getting asked right now, what is going on with the housing market? Well, when the interest rates jumped up two percentage points, mortgage payments went up 20% for the same home. This is starting to have an effect on the number of buyers we are seeing, with 10% fewer home sales than last spring. However, our inventory is 25% lower than the same time last year. What does all this mean? There are more home buyers than homes on the market, so prices are still increasing. Now more than ever, it's time to work with someone who can guide you with solid, proven advice. Wisdom, proactiveness, and intense marketing make a huge difference. Please give us a call today and let us help you navigate these waters. We promise to educate and guide you with your best interest at heart. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather and this is your eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, September 15th. Yesterday was great across the Annapolis region, and it'll be more of the same today through the weekend. Look for more max sunshine each day today through the weekend with highs 77 to 83 degrees each day through Saturday with low to mid 80s expected on Sunday. And the sun will continue to shine through much of next week, though temps will likely warm into the mid to upper 80s much of the week as summertime tries to hang on as long as possible. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather-informed. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? Come see us at Scout and Molly's. I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. After spending the last two years shopping online, Come enjoy a fun, in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back-to-school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. It's finally time for the Anne Arundel County Fair to roll around. It's going on now through Sunday. On Saturday, Quiet Waters Park is having a composting demonstration with a master gardener. And also, today through Saturday, check out the first annual Annapolis Songwriters Festival. Inspired by the Key West Songwriters Festival, one of the largest of its kind in the world. And the lineup for this event is just insane. Head over to AnnapolisSongwritersFestival.com for more information in the full lineup. And knits and pieces off of Bestgate Road. On Saturday, their intermediate hat, making a sunny side cap, starts. And on Monday, their advanced sweater with great gingham starts. And registration is open for their beginner cable hat knitting class. And their learn to knit an Alpen Glow colorwork sweater, starting in a couple weeks. As well as a bunch more classes coming up in October, November, and December. At Books for International Goodwill off of Defense Highway, tomorrow and Saturday, they're having another one of their big book sales. This is a fundraiser for the Pearl Rotary Club. They have thousands of books at great prices. And they're really well organized. At the Willow Oak Flower and Herb Farm in Severn, Saturday, check out their Fall Harvest Wreath Workshop. Down in Edgewater at London Town Gardens, tonight they're doing Colonial Cocktails, making Syllabub, a frothy cream dream. 
and Stone Fence, a spice spiked cider. Learn about the history of the drinks and enjoy some cocktails in the process. Tomorrow and Saturday, they're doing their fall plant sale. The preview is tomorrow night for members and volunteers, and the general public can drop by on Saturday. Also on Saturday, it's the Smithsonian Museum Day with free admission to museums in all 50 states, with a free ticket obtained online. And while you're there, check out London Town Gardens Garden Magnets Workshop. While you shop for plants, you can drop off the kids, aged 5 through 12, to make their own upcycled resin magnets at Whole Foods in Annapolis. Today, their Half Pint Kids Club is doing Fruit Top Toast. Tomorrow, there's Flavors of Amalfi and Bin to a One Wine Tasting with Chef Alba, exploring fragrant lemon dishes from Amalfi, as well as exploring some wine, of course. And on Tuesday, their Half Pint Kids Club is doing banana roll-ups. Over at Art Farm, tonight their first exposure photography class continues. Sunday, they have another vibe, flow, and chill yoga. As well as on Sunday, their teen and adult henna workshop returns. And their kids' fall semester continues with their Inspired by Art class for ages 6 through 8 on Saturday. But registration is open for even more fall classes starting in coming weeks with classes for kids such as embroidery, found object sculptures, writing short stories, graphic design, and lots more. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, Saturday, Eastport and Apples Neck has Build It with Lego, Crofton has Ask a Master Gardener, Deal has Gardening and SoCo, What Do Bees Do in the Winter? And continuing with bees, Severna Park has Beekeeping and Making Money, Odenton has Scrape Painting in the Morning, and then Build and Play with Lego in the Afternoon. And Maryland City has Oalada Art in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. On Tuesday, Bush Annapolis is doing Teens Tiny Terrariums, where teens can build little terrariums. Deal has a craft afternoon celebrating fall. Eastport Annapolis Neck has the Mad Hatter's Knitting Club. Broadneck has their Broadneck Needle Crafters. And then there's an online session on Tuesday with Instant Pot Virtual Cooking, making budget meals. And then on Wednesday, Rivera Beach has a craft and chat. And Deal has gardening and SoCo with the magic of trees at Unallocated Space in Severn. Tonight, they have a virtual happy hour. Tomorrow, there's a virtual amateur radio night. Monday is their project night. Tuesday, their electronic fundamentals class continues. And Wednesday is their weekly open house. And in Annapolis Makerspace, not this week, but the following week, we have registration open for a class on making custom engraved slate coasters with our laser engraver. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at iamannapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.